Hey folks, welcome back to Todd Bosley's world famous YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about some very interesting cards. They're the 1933 Indian Gum Gaudi cards. I'll show you what one of them looks like. It's right here. So I was recently at a, um, uh, it wasn't really a flea market, but it was kind of a get together of collectors of political and different type things, uh, cards, mostly political buttons though, I would say. And, um, I ran into these cards. Now, I've seen these cards before. I have not really ran into a lot that are PSA graded. Uh, these cards, although I will tell you, are controversial. Um, first of all, in 1933, uh, things were different than they are now. Um, this particular um, group of cards, it, it featured, oh, like scouts and heroes, uh, generals that were famous, uh, Indian chiefs. Uh, Mountain Men, uh, Daniel Boone, Trappers, Buffalo Bill, uh, Sitting Bull, Billy the Kid, um, uh, General Custer, and uh, Davy Crockett. I mean, there were there were just a whole bunch of different, um, you know, people of that era. So let's kind of put it all in perspective, though, because in 1933, one penny was about the equivalent today of about three dollars. So when you walked into a general store and you wanted to buy a piece of gum, a piece of gum was a penny. What Gowdy did that was very interesting and to their success is you not only got a piece or two of gum, but you also got a card. And that card was one of about hmm, up to 300, depending on the series that you bought. And um, they were just little cards like I was just showing. They're not very big. Um, you can see they're probably about two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And on the back, they had their own little saying. Uh, this is um, Wachi, Wachi Mani. <laughs> Wachi Mani is, uh, is our Indian chief. Probably was a super nice guy. Um, of course, he was long gone by the time the card was probably made. Um, Daniel Boone is, a, is another one that was in that particular set. Um, this is PSA graded. Now I picked these up and they are currently available for sale. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around here in a minute and kind of go through it. These are part of our history. Um, I'm, as an American and as many Americans, there's probably parts of these cards that none of us would really be that proud of. I think in general, uh, Gowdy at that time made it... Well, they just kind of made it bad for the Indians. They portrayed the white man differently than they did the Indian. And I think that's the problem that a lot of people have with these particular cards. But with that said, it's still part of our history. And it's a it's a card that was created. There are not very many of them. So just in PSA grades, uh, some of these, there's in the condition they're in. And most of these are graded in like PSA 3 or 4 which it's hard to find one that's much higher than that. There are some, but it's it's hard to find them. Uh, but in general, there's there's usually technically less than 100 for sure. And in most of the cards, there's less than 50 that have graded in the three, uh, PSA 3 or higher. So it's just something to keep in mind when you look at these cards because they really are a, a relic from the past. They're hard to find. Um, there, there's, they are around, they're not impossible to find, but even when you're talking about a good grade in this card, we know PSA 10 is the highest grade you can get. A lot of these are three, four, and five, and that's the best grade that they got because they just weren't treated good. They were just kind of thrown in a shoebox or pocket, wherever, maybe you start a fire with them. Uh, but they definitely, from an advertising uh, perspective, they were definitely a very popular item in the 1930s and then Gowdy went on to make the baseball cards which everyone wants that were very popular so I'm going to flip the camera around here in a minute and I'm going to show you some of these cards and we're going to talk about their history if you have any of these cards um, this will be a good lesson for you to understand what they are and uh, maybe decide which ones you should grade and which ones you should not so hang on folks and I'll be right back with you Okay, folks, we're back, and we're going to start with the first one, which is Daniel Boone. It's graded a PSA 3. Very good. I'll show you the card. Indian Chewing Gum is on the bottom of each card. 
You can see the corners up here. They're just not that great. Three is a good grade for this, I would say. Then on the back, it has a history. And you can even freeze the frame if you want to read it. And it kind of tells you a little bit about the person. So Daniel Boone died in 1820. And it goes on to tell a little bit about him. Then we're going to move to the chief here. This is a nice card. It's graded a two. I don't think me. I think it probably could now grade it a three. Um, PSA. They say that they say they grade tougher now, but I've actually seen cards that like this that graded it a two that then come back as a three. Um, the all of these cards I should tell you are currently for sale. That's why we're doing this video. So if you're interested, I'll give you the information here coming up about how you can purchase these. Here we have uh, another 1933 Indian gum. This is a VG3, PSA graded. Um, Indian chewing gum. Uh, this kind of tells you, um, this, this is probably one of those cards that, uh, yeah, you know. I guess it's part of our history, but nothing that I'm proud of. Anyhow, Gowdy made this card in 1933. Tells a little bit about the life of an Indian. Here's uh, the life of a buffalo hunt. This was an actual card. Card number 135. It's done in PSA 3. And uh, somebody on this card wrote on the back of it. But this tells you about the hunting season of the uh, buffalo. And you'll notice this one is marked 3 when the MK means that there's a mark on it. And obviously this is the mark on the back. So this is card 135. Um, I would like to sell these as a set if possible. Uh, if there's just one that you want, I understand. Um, this is the Defense of the Stockade. This is the Indian um, gum card again. And this shows up here Indians trying to break into the stockade and the white men shooting at them. Uh, on the back, this tells a little story about it. So again, like I said, I don't think you could really put a card like this out today and it would be accepted. Uh, and I understand why, by the way. Um, and our last one, this is the most popular. Um, this is the Osages Tribe. Uh, this card was limitedly produced. This is a number four. Now, it says it has a mark on it. Um, there's only about 17 of these cards that exist, period. And um, there's there's a little mark down here. That's what they're talking about. And I think it might be up this side. They got it. But uh, this talks about the Osages and their tribe and where they were from. Uh, this one isn't too bad. But this is one of the uh, one of the more popular ones that people want. Graded in a four is a high grade. So, um, so these are hard to find. So what we have, one, two, three, we have six cards. Um, they're priced affordably. If you'd like to add any of these to your collection or the whole set. I'm Todd Bosley from Ohio Trading Coin and Jewelry. And this is what we buy. We buy the odd, the unusual. Uh, we do a big business in silver and gold. But I love PSA graded or in, uh, graded baseball cards, football cards. I love NGC graded coins. I love PMG graded paper money. That's my thing. I love this kind of stuff. And, you know, if you go back and you look year after year, these have continued to appreciate in money year after year after year. Uh, I don't know that there's been a year they haven't gone up. And once you get them certified, you know what they are. You know they're authentic. You know the grade. Then all you have to do is put them away. Decide when you want to sell them and, you know, collect your money. These these definitely, if you can hold these for 10 years or more, you're going to be able to make plenty of money on this. This will be a great investment for you. Well, let me tell you about uh, me. Um, I'm Todd Bosley, Ohio Trading Coin and Jewelry. We buy and sell all kinds of fun things. If you have uh, coins, you have uh, bullion, gold, silver, uh, jewelry, we buy all of that. If you have um, high-end collector cards, if you have uh, large notes, old notes, uh, dollar bills, $10 bills, $100 bills, we buy all of that. So if, you're, if you have a collection of any kind, I'd be interested in hearing from you. 
I'd love to work with you. We pay top dollar. I buy stuff every single day. Um, the number on this card is my cell phone, 330-323-9775. You can get me directly at that number. You deal with me, I answer the phone. Uh, give me a call or give me a text. Let me know what you have. If you're interested in this uh, six-card set of the uh, Indian gum tobacco uh, card, or the, I guess it's just Indian gum cards, um, I'd be happy to give you a price on it. I don't post my prices on these videos because... You know, I don't know if this will sell tomorrow, if it's going to sell two years from now, so the price may go up. Well, actually, I'm positive the price is going to go up, so the sooner it sells, the lower the price will be. But I'm fair, and I like to work deals. So give me a call. Todd Bosley, Ohio Trading Coin & Jewelry. We do all kinds of different things here. Be sure to check out all my other videos. I have tons of different things for sale that I've done videos on. It's a really a neat channel. Uh, we're kind of an independent channel. We host several different uh, people on our channel. So you'll see a lot of Ohio Trading Coin and Jewelry stuff along with other contributors to that channel. Folks, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And think about buying something valuable that's going to appreciate down the road. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.